live from a side road off another side road on the edge of Austin, where you V2 characters and graying sidekicks exchange diss tracks, you know it's going to be a great night. Now, get out of your easily <laughs> easily entered speakeasy. <laughs> Are you ready, Jew? Because uh, here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Go! Oh, 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 shh, oh, shh. Room with All us. Right. Look, I'm willing to take the L on this one. <laughs> but I might have been. I <laughs> might have. I might have been caught up about waist deep in, in breeding <laughs> Hitlers. <laughs> like, sorry. So, so we're worried about upsetting them. What before they are sold? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I didn't know. I, yeah. I, I, uh, I'm uh, breeding small Hitlers to sell them. Okay. To who? High is bitter, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to say a type of currency. Okay. And you say yep or nope. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Deutschmark. Yep. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, um, <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> that might as well have been the free space on yeah, the big okay, card. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bitcoin. Yep. Oh, God damn it. All right. <laughs> uh, American U.S. dollars. Hey, you but a yep. Jesus yep, Christ. Yep, this, yep. Uh, 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 wake up, Hitler! Oh! <laughs> My business has been destroyed. Oh, and not you, a moment too soon. You try to side hustle. Everybody Brian. knows that a woken Hitler is woke. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows it. Yeah. Everybody Literally knows in the words, it's true. Come on, Come on. I, I, I think Hitler's it's pretty downfall. clear. All right, That's what I, I have. Know. God damn it! Uh, now, yeah, I have a very bad. What, what do you impression. got? I mean, no, how bad could it. it be? It's not like about. No, stop. No, is it, is I'm it about, already doing too much. It's come on, bad. no, no. Oh, it's so, well, you probably shouldn't say it. Uh, yeah, you should. All right, limited, limited what? impression. What? Uh, but we don't go further than this. Okay, one side right. rule: I hide. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> woke Hitler. <laughs> Black lives matter. Okay. <laughs> it definitely was not incorrectly titled. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, woke yeah. Hitler. Okay, it's woke right. Hitler. All right. Yeah. <sighs> How you been? Hey, man. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> we start with woke Hitler. We kick it off. With Look, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, we, you have to resynchronize, right? It we takes do. a. We, we have Resyn to. I, our Bluetooth do we, do devices we, so are totally paired. Honest, I'm feeling like uh, 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 pretty out of sorts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I uh, woke up this morning in Atlanta. I, I, woke I was up in this the morning in TSA Atlanta. Line ever long TSA. <laughs> do you want me to just keep going? I mean, I need I more words. I got on a flight. I got on a flight. But, uh, but before that, <laughs> before that, <laughs> I went to the shortest line for food. Uh, uh, hooray. <laughs> I had to rhyme. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got up so high. <laughs> I uh, decided to do a woke Hitler impression. <laughs> I landed in Great Night, and I blew my mind. I just showed up. Oh, you're landing this. <laughs> to see what condition my condition was in. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, yep. You good? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you want me to tell the story? Or? I, I actually do, but I realized to do that, I have to stop talking. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson it learned. It only took 15 years, ladies and gentlemen. It only <laughs> took 15 years. I got there. I got there. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I, I, I woke up in Atlanta. Uh, uh, I thought, man, I thought it was going to be really responsible. Because I woke up at my normal time, which is 530 in the fucking morning. Mm. Got to the end. I'm like, oh. Is that what? U.S. time or East Coast? That's East Coast time. Mm. 
And so I'm like, uh, uh, all Liber right. Liberal time. Sure. Okay. Yeah. The <laughs> Noted liberal city of Atlanta, although we're actually going to get into how it's yeah. liberal. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, 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 I'm like, ah, fuck it. You want to know what? I'm going to do myself a little favor. Yeah. I'm going to get to the airport. Yeah. And I'm going to start drinking. What? And I'm going to start drinking at like seven o'clock okay, in the morning. Right, hold on, hold on. I'm probably going to get two or three drinks in before I get on this flight. Sure. Man, if anyone out there was ever wondering whether or not we were brothers from other mothers. <laughs> like, so I literally. Speaking my language. I went to bed early. Yep. So, so I that. could get up. <laughs> yep. So I could go to the Atlanta airport and I, I could start game. getting drunk at the airport. And that was like my reason to go to sleep. Yep. To not drink then. Yep. Was to drink in the morning. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> So it's, a, I, it's a good game. So I go to sleep. I wake up at 5.30, and I'm like, just sing a little song. And I get the bed going. I'm get, so get early. My, get, my, 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 my get, flight doesn't get, board till uh, 8 o'clock. I'm like, shit, man. By the time I get there, it's going to be 6. I'm going to be there. First fucking guy at the, at the fucking, like, bleary-eyed bartender. Yeah. yeah. You're like, bye. Hey. Double, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's right. go. Uh, uh, and finally, you know it's time for your flight because you start hearing closing time. <laughs> you don't have to go home, but you got. So uh, uh, I, I, I get to the airport, drop off my car. Yeah, the entire Atlanta airport, where nothing but Chick Fil A's. Uh, uh, people are aware is a very very busy airport. Yeah, it only has one TSA pre entrance. <sighs> One TSA pre-entrance. And you can't use the Chick-fil-A app to get through it? No. You cannot. Okay. You cannot. Uh, in fact, not to get too Alex Jonesy, but they also all do facial recognition to get through TSA pre. Yep. Uh, so it's like you run your ID and then you get facial recognition, which I thought was very fucking weird because I've never seen that at a domestic airport before. Uh, uh, but this fucking line is 45 minutes. So what I think is going to be in any other fucking airport that I've ever gone to, a five-minute little jaunt. Uh, no, not at Atlanta airport this morning. It is a 45-minute wait. So what? The cash comes out. You say five for you, five for you, five for you, and you just work your way up the line or? No. I fucking, I mean, I, I'm, out of, I'm out of arrows, including the fact that clear, everybody who's using clear at the Atlanta airport also in another line. So, so you, clear is just as long of an experience as the TSA pre thing. So you dress up in a cop's uniform and you say, I need everyone to get out of this line. And then you sneak on up in fact, and then go I'm to the front of it. I'm such a fucking cuck that like I'm literally in this line for the entire time. And there is a kid behind me who's on a leash. No bullshit. <laughs> All right, uh, Dude, I was trying to get as weird as possible, and you just bested me, no, so I'm yeah. done. Yes, no. So he's on a leash at, with his grandma, and and uh, he's just like, "We're gonna miss our flight. We're gonna miss our flight. We're gonna miss our flight." The kid on the leash is saying, "Yes." What? And I've never see, seen a kid on a leash and said, "You deserve to be there." <laughs> Until this morning. <laughs> Until this morning, when I'm like, "Yes." That's where this little piece of, piece of shit should be, right yeah, there on, on this that leash. leash, connected to his grandma. Right. Okay. Get through. And now I only have about thirty minutes. Like, like from from what I thought was going to be. Well, a yeah, very I mean, you'll meet your flight with plenty of time. Oh no, no, no. The flight's fine. But now I'm like, okay, well, I gotta oh, get food because I was hoping, drunk. yeah, that I would get a little bit of breakfast. Yeah. But then I'd sidle up to the bar. Yeah. Right. So uh, uh, the Chick-fil-A, as minute. you might mention, uh, the longest line you've ever seen. Well, sure. And, and, like, like, like Harry Potter ride on day one. <laughs> like that kind of line for, for Chick-fil-A this morning. At Was the it kind of a loosey-goosey line? or no. They're Mormons. Rigid. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, straight. Like, oh, yeah. They, they are. They are uh, no, they're not Mormons, right? They're just Baptists. Whatever. Yeah. They're religious. Just they fucking straight. Know. It's very straight. <laughs> I'm gonna say it twice. If you think, if there you think that doesn't matter, straight. Yeah. No. Okay. Straight line. Okay. No, okay. Right. Straight line. Straight line. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Turgid. Straight <laughs> line. Okay. All right. Now I regret. Veins. Okay. Whoa. Slightly yeah. purple. Whoa. Yeah. Slightly purple. Straight. So, uh, uh, and then I'm walking by Starbucks. Gigantic line. I see one place. Yeah. El Taco. El Taco, which is Spanish for the, the taco. taco. <laughs> yes, the one. Right? Uh, and I'm like, this is the fucking hack, right? I'll yeah. bet you they just opened. That's why this line is so short. You know why? For a taco, all you gotta do, chuck shit in a thing, 
Toss it the person, you're good to go. Yep. I, I, mm. Where, mm. You know what? I know what you're going to say. Yeah. I'll say it. Okay. Were they Mexican? They were not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Might explain why it was so empty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me just say this. Uh, 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 hey, welcome y'all, y'all, to El Taco. Y'all, y'all, y'all ever seen a Tyler Perry movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yes, so Medea is waiting uh, for you. Uh, you know, uh, 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 when any scene that's in a church, yep. Almost positive they were background extras. Wow. The two women <laughs> yeah. that were working this very busy airport uh, 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 little stop. I mean, it's two it's, women. It's the hub of Delta. But I, you know what? They're not Mexican, but I'm a little bit curious. Yeah. You're Mexican because curious. I think that, that, that this could come around. I think that this might come around. Uh, uh, you, if by come around, you mean I waited 25 of my remaining 30 minutes waiting for two tacos. Oh. Yes, you're right. I did eventually come back around. Did did they not serve you any beverages while you were waiting or Oh no, it was not a sit down. It was a wait. I thought what? this was What? It was a counter? I thought this was a grab and go. Like the way that that that, that everything was going, everything was opening up. I thought yep. this was the hack that it's like the simplest thing to prepare. Yep. Is tacos. Right. Uh, I would grab two tacos, I would eat them on the way to the uh, the Longhorn uh, uh right across and I'm like Fuck it, I'll do that instead of eating at the Longhorn. Let me just go. Map, no, fucked up. Total fucking boner. And then at that point, I'm like, well, fuck. Now that I have my tacos, do I go sit at the counter at the Longhorn, eat my tacos, and at least have one beer? Last time I checked, you can eat a taco standing up. I could, but I couldn't get a beer fast enough, and I am rapidly running out of time. Oh. So mm. now I have a question, and I'm like, you want to know what? It's close enough to my fucking boarding time yeah. at Southwest. Let me just fucking eat these tacos standing up, and I'll just go get in line. My beautiful dream of drinking before the flight now dashed. Yeah. Uh, so I do. I start waiting in line. Uh, and I don't know if you've ever... You've flown Southwest far, far, far more than I have. I heard of them. Uh, have you ever seen a pre-board on Southwest that is... Roughly the same size, if not larger, than one of the ABC classes. Uh, I will say this. We have entered a new era where yeah. uh, everybody is a special guest. And when everybody's a special guest, guess what? Nobody is a special then guest. That's A. Yep. Uh, uh, a is now B. Yep. B is now C. And C, D C, is now C, you sit on the wing. Yeah. C is like... Uh, 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 yeah, you've been upgraded from cargo, yeah, basically. So, yeah, so then I sat in the fucking line when I could have been drinking at the fucking Longhorn for another 30 minutes. So, yeah, I I'm feeling a little bit out of it, bro. <sighs> that was what yesterday, day before, it was fucking about 10 hours ago. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. Bryce, first stop. <laughs> oh. Brian's bad ad day. I mean, I, I don't want to compare rough days. <laughs> but I woke up this morning, rode a bike. Don't yep. know if you heard. Got yourself bikes. a gun. <laughs> I, I got to the elementary school. Yep. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> never, never have I more regretted a Sopranos <laughs> reference. Like, never. Wow. I, I Three, the, it's not four, your, it's not yeah, your fault. Right, it's not right. your fault. It's my fault. Go Whatever. On. So I get there and I'm waiting for my kids so I can high five her because that's the whole fucking gimmick. Oh no, this this is this is the new thing. Yeah. You you want to bike out so you can high five your daughter and then bike back. You feel good about your fitness and that's being right. a dad. That's Got right. It. Uh I mean it's no 5 30. Doesn't matter. Uh but bon Bonnie calls <laughs> and then is just like uh uh oh, are you at the elementary school? I'm like, yeah, are you about to show up? You're like yeah, we got in like two minutes ago. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you missed us. You're so. late. Yeah, so uh, fine, 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 fine. So uh, 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 come in. Do you at least take a selfie to be like, this is where I would have high-fived you? <laughs> no? <laughs> well, I could well, still get there. <laughs> 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 but uh, but uh, 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 then Andrew Heaton has me out for uh, donuts and gets me on his Patreon episode. A busy day. We do the mm -hmm. team meeting. and it's I like, have an idea. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> can I exploit you for labor? 
<laughs> well, yes. I mean, I, as long great. as great. I'll do that now. <laughs> okay, and we did. <laughs> you can hear it if you're paying money. Uh, but, but then <laughs> after all this, like, Corey is trying to be very delicate because I am wiped. It's been a long day already at, at, at 2, and I know we have great night coming up. Uh, uh, Corey's like, so about that ad. And I was like, yep, 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 uh, win. Uh, and he was like, 45 minutes, I uh, need you to pinky swear. Fine, pinky swear, let's do it. Uh, Corey sends over the copy for the ad. Now, here's the thing. Uh, when you see an ad on YouTube, an integrated ad, there are usually two entities, three entities. There's whoever's saying the thing, there's whoever brokered the thing, yep. and there's whoever the thing is for. There are different layers of experience people have when it comes to writing the copy. You can tell the people who really know their stuff because it's like, make sure to say this call to action, this is your FCC yep. disclaimer right at the, uh, at the opening uh, 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 give me at least 30 to 45 seconds of blank, 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 hit two of the seven following or whatever. And, and, and I have heard through other friends in the television and radio ad yep. industry that certain companies are more hands-on than others. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, I can't remember the, uh, uh, the rental car company that was like, we'll pick you up, uh, but they would always be driving – in a a papered up car. Oh, with the cover always, over it. That always looked super weird because it was only the the uh, uh, the windshield that was cut out of the paper. And apparently, that was because that company was very hands on about their ad and the enterprise, and they were very insistent that the entire car be papered like it was a package that was coming to your house. And that you would unwrap because it was a very exciting thing. That and sounds was, like a lot of fun for 15 minutes. And it was only after <laughs> they then like were going through the process of actually putting an ad on television that the ad company had to very, very painfully explain to them, no, we literally have to cut <laughs> this out. Otherwise, they won't let us on television because we're demonstrating an unsafe way to drive. <laughs> But uh, that, that is certain. Certain companies are a little bit more hands on than others. Is so all uh, there's usually a three to five page document of like uh, about us, things you got to do, things you got to say. Right. Yeah. Uh, Corey sends over a three to five page document. I'm going to do my best not to say what the company is. Sure. If you happen to figure out what the company is, please do me the honor of pretending like you didn't figure yes. out what yeah. the company is. So everybody just yell Pepsi right now. Pepsi. Just yell Pepsi, Pepsi. Just yell Pepsi. Pepsi in the Pepsi. chat room. Everyone obviously believes this is for Pepsi. That's yeah. right. Uh, Pepsi, YouTube sponsorship, creator guidelines. Pepsi was founded in Pepsi days by an <laughs> awesome top 100 Pepsi maker uh, who funded many companies valued at Pepsi money. With over 75 <laughs> years of making Pepsi, yeah. Pepsi is one of the largest buyers of Pepsi. <laughs> to date, a lot of people have bought Pepsi. Cool. Great, I get it. You're huge. That's awesome. You're I'll co-sign that. A lot of here to represent your interests. Yeah, Corey, I swear. The moment I step out of line, you correct me. Uh, <clears throat> value proposition of an, of drinking <clears throat> Pepsi through Pepsi. <laughs> the total Pepsi is estimated to be worth trillions, and some company projects it to get even bigger. Like, cool. That's great. Uh, Pepsi is already valued at Pepsi money. <laughs> so their future is bright, to say the least. Why buy Pepsi? Growing market. <laughs> Not correlated to other sodas. Is this bullet points? Is this like Oxford yeah. comma? <laughs> Not volatile. Outperforms other sodas. <laughs> Video sequence. <laughs> All the videos for Pepsi should follow a basic video sequence. <clears throat> part one, part two, part three. Uh, a segue, a hook, talking point, CTA. Segway, by the way, misspelled, like the vehicle. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> so, a, a, a vehicle for which you lean into to accelerate. That is correct. Uh, <laughs> you know, the one where the CEO killed himself by, by riding sweat. one off a cliff. Yeah, which yeah. is what everyone remembers about that. That's yeah. correct. Yep. Uh, <laughs> 911. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So definitely don't figure out the brand now. <laughs> oh, for the love of God, 
Only sell so, say Pepsi. Only Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah. I swear to God, Only Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah. It's a, uh, exactly. Uh, it's like the choice for those who think young. <laughs> All videos should follow a basic sequence. Segway, hook, talking points, CTA. Creators are encouraged to incorporate all of the talking points in their own way. However, the talking points are arranged in an order. So if you're struggling to write your own script, you can speak to the points. For example, for example, uh, video integration, uh, uh, subheader A, quality integration examples. Let's say, hypothetically, throwing it out there, it's us, Pepsi. You are an F1 news content creator. Okay. And you're talking about how the cost of the F1 cars. The cost of the cars is so high? Uh, well, not bad. Maybe you should try saying, what if I told you the Pepsi-Cola in the car is sold for more than all three of those combined? All three of my cars? That's right. Okay. Hey, uh, you know what? To Justin's world. Sure. Let's say you're a politics and news content creator. Yeah. Uh. Maybe you would say something like, people are already scrambling. In normal times, one would drink Pepsi. Uh, uh, oh, no. One would drink other sodas. But the former is in a massive bubble, and the latter is being driven up because of global instability. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm diversifying my drinking. <laughs> 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 With Trying Pepsi. to see Corey. Yeah. Corey, Corey's okay. Pepsi. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right. Now, I, I hear you, Brett. Uh, something for you. Okay. Let's say you're a conspiracy theory content <laughs> creator. Okay. That's what maybe, they want you to think. Maybe say something like this. Quoted. Now, I have a mystery for all of you that's oh. evaded an answer for almost a century. Oh. Why would one of the richest families in history... Drink a billion dollars of another soda. Well, there's a lot of theories, and we'll never know, but we do know some facts about Pepsi. So just a total non sequitur. <laughs> Maybe you're a coffee content creator. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it's okay. been great having access to Pepsi, the sponsor of this video. They're great. I love it. <laughs> So, so maybe they, they just tapped out on the coffee. You're like, by the way, if you do coffee, fucking whatever. Just say, we love them. Use offer code ding dong at checkout. Is it Pepsi a drink? A hook <laughs> is another version of a segue. Still, still misspelled. Oh my as described God. above. Uh, it can be fact-based. This box of Pepsi was worth 43000 when it was made. Now it's worth three million. I feel like we're just gonna lose you guys money if we go further. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it only gets worse from here. All right, uh, all right. Maybe 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 we'll topics maybe we'll come to back avoid. <laughs> think we want to do that? Let's do it right now. Okay. Oh, oh, uh 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 specifically, mm -hmm. um, here's what you don't want to say when you're talking sometimes about sometimes they're stuff. like, hey, our brand Maybe try to avoid these things. Like, hey, you know, this celebrity is kind of known. Maybe we don't want to. Yeah, you yeah. You can talk about anything so, else. You know, there not... was that murder that happened in our uh, a, a competing product was next to it. We don't want to be tied to it. So uh, you know, just don't mention the entire genre about that murder. Uh, sure. uh, yeah. <laughs> Real quick, here's a that, cool trick. Yeah. So, so, so we're selling Jean Benet Ramsey figurines. <laughs> <laughs> Mention that she was a very sweet girl. And nothing I, else. I'm gonna punch out on this one. Um, for example, maybe you're a construction worker. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> the construction worker is talking about a relatable problem that many people have experienced. A problem that requires a construction worker to come and fix. Solution. Construction worker. Coming to fix on a construction problem, drinks Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's all this for five fucking pages. Wow. It's fine. Voluminous. Yeah. Bryce, next topic. Brett the Unkissed. Uh, Brett. Hey. Now, uh, we, are, we are very, very happy that we have uh, uh, some folks that have been showing up for the last few weeks here to be with our, our show, sure. but uh, normally we're, we're used to the company of your lovely wife, EK. Yeah. Who, who, by the way, well, what is her website? Uh, uh, TJ and Amal uh, forward slash, uh, TJ and Amal .com forward slash uh, CAS. 
And what is what, what, so on there at that specific S- URL slash CAS? What would people find? Uh, Shot and Chaser, the not the comic strip that's ready for people to watch. They don't want yet. Yeah, it's she, not she does ready not to be want long. people to 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 go see it, but. Indeed, a sequel to TJ and Amal. It's not a sequel, but well, from the same from the people who brought you of TJ and Amal. Yes. Uh, uh, well, EK is, is in the chat shouting Bart.com. I don't know. <laughs> Bart, Bart. Yeah, <laughs> Pepsi. I'm just, Thank I'm you. just saying. Thank I'm you, just baby. saying that, that indeed com. people can go Am there right? and enjoy EK's art. Yes. A yeah. Fart.com takes you to. Fart, funny and ridiculous things, yeah. funny jokes, fun videos, sounds, yeah. gags, pranks. Uh, uh, Bryce, stop paying attention to the chat. Anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> com slash CAS, so, go there. But but, but we, we love EK, and yes. uh, she's not here right now. What yeah. the fuck? Look, I don't want to say that I've had a bad week. You yeah. know, things a lot, you know, have been going on. Uh, but um, so a week and a half ago, uh, we went to karaoke. Yeah. Uh, I, Where uh, had, had common somebody. interest, common interest. Uh, uh, is, is, is that one of them? Uh, uh, everybody singing at the bar, or you get the the the, the private rooms? Uh, they they have both, but uh, but they really, serve Pepsi there. They do serve <laughs> Pepsi. Boy, do they serve Pepsi! I'm telling you, you need to go get a bunch of that there. Uh, but it was really loud for me, and I left early. And uh, EK, what's early for you? Timeline. I mean, it was. It really was. A, a forty-five minutes, and I was out. It was just too. Long. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, time, eight, time, eight time, o'clock. Time. How old are you? Yeah. Are you old? If he it, thinks you're old. No, it wasn't about being old. It was just so loud. Oh uh, no, 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 no. That's I, 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 I'm here to tap out early. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for common cause here. Uh, I think we got there at seven, and I was out at seven forty-five. Yeah, that's Holy my dog right metal. there. That's right. Yeah, that's my dog right what? there. Oh my god. I mean, usually I would seven thirty dogs. The audience is rough. She'll wake the Hitler. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Hitler. Uh, uh, so Ek and her crew stayed behind. They were all masked up. Yeah, the exactly. people there were not. Because there were still up. early bird specials going. Yeah, on. that's right. Yeah, they, the root, <laughs> root dude, and fresh and fruity. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I went home and, uh, they went on to have a wonderful evening. Epic, epic Eve. Very good. A couple days later, she's got a cold. Okay. She's telling me this is, ugh, man. Yeah. I think I got a cold from the thing. And it's like, yeah. hello, okay. Brett. It's me, EK. Yeah, that's exactly how she I'm said I have a bit of the cold. Yes. Uh, so a couple days later, she comes in and she goes, ugh. And I was like, like, what? She's like, ah, oh, man, I feel this was like, right. Like engineered in a lab or something. She said, <laughs> she said, <laughs> she said, China a lot. She said, China a lot. It was really weird. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, man. I feel like this is a manipulated protein <laughs> spike or something. Man, I woke up this morning I was like, woo! Ha. Yeah, <laughs> I'm old man. I don't feel well. She, so she ended up coming in and said she pointed the thing at me and she goes, "It's a boy," yeah. and uh, she got COVID. She got vitted. She got vitted. Me, I don't know what's my deal. My my deal, my man. I do not have it because you so, left. You left early. You, yep, you, you, left. You, you, well, you, you exited you think, stage left on the would super think spreader that event. Maybe there was obviously there's an issue between EK and I because. You know, I distanced, and we were, love each other, but uh, but, 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 but you were which not one of you is no on the couch? Kiss. Which There's one no. of you is on the couch? Nope, uh, she's in the master bedroom. I'm in the guest bedroom. All right, mm. so you're on the couch. Yeah, but you know the, the, couch the, is the really, guest really bed. Yeah, the guest bedroom is the rich people's couch. It really is. It's yeah. the rich people couch. <laughs> so, uh, uh, how is she feeling? Uh, well, uh, she is very tired. Dude, that was the biggest thing yep. when, of this when, bit. when I got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of this bit. I'm sure she's gonna say something online very soon. Like, no, it, it was it was the fatigue more than anything. Yep. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But she's recovering. She's recovering. Day by day, she's gotten a little bit better. So she got that cron. Yeah. She got cron. She up. got the shitty cold. That's yeah. that's what that's what we kind of said. But uh I, did I say I, on here that my mom got it? No. While she was going through chemo? What? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Kimbo Cron yeah. Talk fucking, with uh, Jerry. Not that fucking. I, I, I yeah, that that's fucking, right. I, I your number one source for all the chemo thanks, and Cron thanks, yeah, go ahead. Talk. You know, yeah. let me tell you. Hey, man, do you have a loved one who has Cron? <laughs> get ready to get upstage. Take <laughs> Corey. Do you have a loved one who's dealing with the COVID? Oh, why don't you eat a bag of dicks? Get ready. 
Kimo and Cron That's in the morning. Right. It's all right. <laughs> and go. Kimo Cron talk. Was, and hit it. C and, and C, go. CNC Music Factory. Bop, bop, Pump bop, up bop, the bop, bid. Bop, While the bop, wide bop, blood cell bop, shot bop, is in your bop, system. Bop, 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 Pump it up. <laughs> uh, uh, no, yeah. No, so she's totally fine. Uh, uh, she said it felt like a, a bad flu. But yeah. uh, thankfully, it was like right after she had gotten her antibody shot that yep. she was getting for chemo. Yeah. So it okay. actually wound up probably being better that she got it when she got it. So that's uh, your chemo cron minute. <laughs> chemo cron talk. Chemo cron. Oh no. Chemo, oh, chemo, no. Chemo uh, I feel so bad. Bryce, at least maybe this <laughs> next topic will make me feel better. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Is this homophobic? <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> now, now, you didn't tell us what this was. The story. Was the story All right, I have a question. Okay. I have a question that I would like to Just ask. Just asking questions. I'd like to ask everybody here because we're all gathered. And uh, uh, I'm glad you feel comfortable. Well, I mean, it's the thing that happened while I was in Atlanta. Just get a little warm. And I just wanted, I just wanted to put it out there. So, uh, especially amongst our 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 inner circle here, yeah, sure. our, our friends here on the Bonnie's podcast. here. So, uh, 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 I wanted to ask: Is this homophobic? Right. And you would ask us in I, particular. I, I would ask. I would ask us all together because sure. Brett's an actor. But. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah. That is no, that tracks. Yeah. That tracks. Yeah. yeah. That we is. can confirm Brett is, I, is an actor. Brett's an actor. And yeah. I was a preschool teacher and a bartender. Yeah. And yeah. So. So. Sure. Ob- obs. Obs. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> and I realize that the hotel that I'm staying at uh, is in a gay area of town. Because in preparation for Pride Month, which is June, yeah, like there are signs that are obviously like well worn of like their logos that they are like re putting up that have they're like old the, Christmas decorations. Uh, I mean, you you know that this is a a thing. I, I don't know if they are on the specific route of 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 the parade or whatever, but uh, uh, it is a gay part of town. It is then further illustrated to me when I am walking down the street. And a man in uh, short running shorts with uh, rainbow wristbands, wrist sweatbands, and hey a there, fella! Band. Did you hear? It's about to be gay month. <laughs> it's 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 even better than that. Oh, great! <laughs> uh, he has a gigantic flag uh, that he is waving back and forth as he's jogging at full speed. Yeah, uh, and it is a a vote Stacey Abrams flag that he's just running up and down the street with as just a. Get out the vote thing. Is is she running? Yes. Okay. In fact, uh, uh, people can uh, are voting for her right now, depending on when polls close. Got it. In 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 Georgia. Uh, so while I'm I'm out there, uh, uh, I decide because I, I was feeling uh, uh, like I needed to work out more on the road. Yeah. That it turns uh, first, out. First of all, in, you grab tr- the flag. You tr- gla- you true facts. The flag. the more time you spend around gay people, the more you feel like you need to work out. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> because I would like to ask, and maybe Brian needs to ask too, is the supposition that specifically affluent gays who live in the rich gay part of town are in better shape than the average male human. Uh, okay, uh, from Is the audience. Homophobic? Absolutely. Uh, wait. Uh, it, Is it's the cause, idea? Cause this, this, this is kind of a black guys have big dicks kind of thing where it's like. <laughs> now, what is that? Giving, you, what is that? Wait, wait, did, compliment, wait, wait, sorry. I'm, I'm I don't know. Familiar, sorry, but, what uh, you this to me? Is just this, saying, this just about saying, black guys? Wait. Ask your parents. Yeah. Uh, uh, but. <laughs> But this, Wait. this is, I, I didn't know whether or not I was being homophobic by assuming that if I were going to the local Orange Theory, which as it turned out was only three blocks away from my hotel, mm-hmm. would I be going to a place for which very fit and active gay men were working out? It would be in better shape than I am. Were, were you worried like like you came in arms crossed like it's the Wait dance? a minute. No, no, no. We have to answer this question first before we get back into my story because there is more to my story, but we have to answer this question. Is it homophobic to assume 
that the residents of the Midtown Atlanta neighborhood, which I had assumed was was gay, was, is that a homophobic assertion? All right. uh, well, join us up here. Bonnie Brushwood, join us. Yeah. Uh, finally, somebody who yeah. actually knows the answer to this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's homophobic. Promophobic. Promo, because I don't think it's a bad thing. It's not like you're like going, you know. But it is a little bit of like like stereotyping. Prejudicial. It, it is, it is stereo stereotyping. It is, it, is, it is stereotyping but and it's it is not, prejudicial. Yes. It's not negative stereotyping. I'm just I'm just asking. All right. Oh, although I guess big dicks isn't a bad thing either, right? Uh <laughs> <laughs> and Bonnie, Bonnie butterflies off the set. Uh, boy, what an exit. <laughs> like, well, I have this bit. Whenever something goes sideways, I talk about how I love big dicks. And then I... Oh, you waka waka da, da, waka. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, tiebreaker. Price, homophobic or not? <laughs> I don't... No, I think someone in the chat had it right. It's not homophobic, but it is stereotypical. Like I feel like I don't. I feel like my body type does not make people self self conscious. I don't know. I you, guess you, not, you not also don't live in those apartments. <laughs> they are very expensive apartments in Midtown Atlanta. Wow, rub it in. Why are you asking me? <laughs> just say, no, no. You're the tiebreaker. You're the tiebreaker. <laughs> no, well, can, can I'm just I, asking if it's homophobic. It's not homophobic. Okay. Okay. It's no, it's not homophobic. Look, I would just like to say, Brett's the actor as either. a middle aged <laughs> white guy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, really, I, I have no I have no opinion on this. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's not homophobic because the rest of this story would have been very awkward. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, me where are we going? Me into my homophobia. <laughs> oh, no. So I go to uh, the Orange Theory for a class uh, on one day, and I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't realize until I was in there that there are a, a, a couple people for whom I do not see at the local suburban Austin Orange uh, Theory that I go to, which right. is by and large, people who are uh, uh, trying to get in shape, <coughs> right? There are people who are really in shape. Yeah. There are dudes <laughs> who are really in shape. And so I'm like, oh, shit. I'm, uh, so I'm going on a Sunday, and I'm like, fuck, I'll bet you the class I normally go to at my Suburban Orange Theory, which is at 6.15 in the morning, at here, that's where the, like, the apex gays are <laughs> like <laughs> like the hold on the fucking, hold on like, like the, so like, so so what the, they're, they're the, gays the, the fucking rise and grind gays like like the, <laughs> the, like this super entrepreneurial like holy shit i just fucking like i like gained a jillion dollars in crypto gays are like wait <laughs> they're, they're, get, they're, they're working out and they're gonna blow my shit out of the water which that's the one thing about orange theory as much as i like it is that by and large, it is people who are getting into shape, and I am now at this point, like at the the mid to higher end of that. I'll bet you I would be at the bottom end. Yeah. Pause. I <laughs> <laughs> if I were at the apex gay class in Midtown Atlanta, I don't know whether to be offended or text David Attenborough. <laughs> Behold the apex gay, apex gay. taller, stronger, sharper teeth. Sexier moves. I mean, look, I, the, the reason why better I better taste that, in music. Like, whenever I've gone to a gay pride parade, I have never seen more abs in my life. And I have gone to multiple WrestleManias. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously they're in shape. Sure. Uh, I, yeah, but I might look at some of the plate decoration around that, that <laughs> philosophy. Man. You think, you think it's, it's all highlighting? It, it's lighting? <laughs> it's like, but really, they've been using a lot of CGI the Pride Parade since 97. <laughs> Ever since Phantom Menace, uh, ILM's been heavily involved in the Pride Parade. <laughs> well, the pod uh, racers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, too many. I broke. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I oh, oh no! By the way, I couldn't get into that class because it was too fucking packed. <laughs> <laughs> the early class and the one after the early class. Did they, so did they have definitely... a velvet? Did they have a velvet rope? A rope and a guy going no, no. I, I was. No they rope. fucking sniffed me out from a mile yeah, away. Yeah. They're like, I'm sorry. They're it, like, it I, I'm sorry. I have to check. I have Orange to check theory. your ABD. And you <laughs> yeah, lift and I'm up like, your... they're like, no, fucking no, get the get, fuck out of here. So. No, I, I had I had to go to the ten o'clock, but it was very nice. Shout Aww. out to the Midtown Orange Theory. The ten o'clock. Yeah. Aww. That's where I did. <laughs>
injured out of work days go. No, it's where all it's where all the fucking dudes that Bryce date go. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> wow! What? what just happened? Bryce, I do not approve of anything that just happened. No, I think that's a little homophobic. It was, just, it was just a bunch of fucking baristas taking off their smocks and putting them. <laughs> You cut too close on that one. <laughs> I, I'm trying to play around here. You cut too. You play too. You play too real. <laughs> do, you play too real. do we have another story? We or? have way more stories. Okay. <laughs> we want to do more. Okay. What's the next topic? <laughs> the late dog story. Oh, this is the one I wanted to tell last week, but I totally forgot about. So uh, it's a it's a short one. Uh, so uh, we're doing our best to get joy. Hold on, wait. Siri. Remind me to apologize to Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, homophobe. Oh, no. <laughs> For the record, I actually, I was going to ask Bryce whether or not I could make a barista joke, and I didn't. <laughs> and now I regret it instantly. It's fine. It slips. The uh, dog. Dog. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, uh, so uh, I, I, I'm, I'm running joy around the property and I noticed that one of the Sonoses is not showing up on the sound system and uh, uh, dumb OCD moment. I'm like, well, maybe it's unplugged. I'll go yeah. see. Open up the door. Go in. It is unplugged. I'm in the middle of plugging it in. And I, and I guess Joy found something in the pile of stuff in the corner of the soundstage. Uh, make it all this clanging around or whatever. I'm like, Joy, 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 Joy. And so Joy finds whatever it is and it squeaks it's a nerf ball to go uh, squeak squeaks and and so she looks at me through the legs of this like very narrow tall circular wooden table right and i'm like get out of here come on look, we gotta go uh the door is like open just enough that there's like a beam of sunlight coming in and joy decides well the shortest route is through the legs of this <laughs> table <laughs> yeah so she leaps forward and i actually hear a clang clang something happen and I look down, and she has tripped, and she's on the, 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 the I don't know, her haunches, the, the front part of her paws or whatever. She's down. Her neck is on the wood. And I see very clearly a pool of blood <gasps> spreading. And I have just enough time to think she's slid an artery. She's dying. Yeah. The, the, this is a, is a dead dog. And I was like, I, but she's also smiling and squeaking the ball. And looking at me, and then I look back at the blood. I'm like, if that's not blood, what the fuck is it? And so she clangs all the way off. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And I notice this thing toppled over. I pick it up. The top has broken off, and I lift it up, and it just says, plain as day, fake blood. <laughs> <laughs> And so she's just galloping around. It was amazing. Fucking prop comic dog. <laughs> the Gallagher of dogs. Uh, Fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, Patreon.com slash great night. Yeah, I mean, oh, hey, that's where hey. you... Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Do we have another, do we have another? We do have one more. Oh, oh shit. Yes. Let's go. Fuck Ooh. it. Let's go. Yeah, one more. Over the over. Hey, the man. Uh, so I have one last Scoop Fest story. Ooh. Um, before Scoop Fest, uh, the three of us had a little bet. Our friend Mitsula. Yep. Oh no. Uh, set a line on. Do you guys remember what this? What the line was? I, Not yeah, I, I, even I, a little bit. I don't remember shit. Past five minutes ago, and <laughs> if you asked me a question six minutes from now, I would remember this song. I will never forget the moment <laughs> that that uh, uh, the yet uh, as unreleased episode of Penn Sunday School where I was like, "You ever had that where you do a show and you just can't remember anything you said?" And Penn looks at me. And I was like, oh, I said something terrible. And he was like, are you fucking joking? Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 Everybody it's does. such a shared experience. But yes. <laughs> uh, and so we had, Mitsula set an over under. He set the line for how many Subway sandwiches would be eaten. Oh, I think I got the under. By Brian Brushwood. He set the line. Do you remember what he set the line at? Uh, I've it got was, it. It was a lot. We were only there for three days. And I know that twice I went there to go get a Subway sandwich. And twice I was denied because they don't open until 10 a.m. Oh, as, Which as, they used to be 24. Yeah. Right? I mean, least, in the like good previous, old days. Previous. I mean, the last time we were there, right? Only yeah. like a month prior, they, yeah. were, they were open earlier. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it used to be different. And uh, so <laughs> we uh, we set a bet 
Uh, we set the line. The line was at 5.5 sandwiches. And uh, we had, uh, we did set stakes. You remember the stakes, Justin? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, no. You're just going to keep asking. Friend, uh, You're going to keep getting uh, the same uh, question. Yeah, yeah. No, the, 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 the pool is dry. <laughs> Corey, can you bring this <laughs> when back? When it comes to memories. Can you this. take this back up there? I'll just stay here. Oh, no. Uh, so we had set, uh, Mitsula set the over under at five and a half sa- uh, sandwiches, and I took the over. Okay. And uh, Justin, I would like you to uh, reach in and take your prize because we, I lost the bet. A little Subway gift card. A Subway gift card is yours for your boy. Fifteen whole dollars. That's that's gonna get you a couple of. That's that is. Yeah. So uh, no, (laughs) it was. I was definitely gonna snag it. Damn it. Well played, Uh, sir. Here we go. Uh, Thank you to Mitsula for. Uh, No, that's awesome. And then we also there was another side bet of of cigars versus subs and i think cigars beat subs yeah i only had but it was two only because subs. because you, they were closed yeah, they weren't open you would you would have i would have had four subs yeah you would have had four subs yeah, yeah. uh patreon.com slash great night hold is on this is the first time hearing about this book by chaucer yes uh written during the uh, end of the black plague that's right where in uh the uh, miller 12 uh, uh angry men 12 have to decide youths. Uh, decide that they are going to tell tales about how to give us money. Yes. The first says, go to patreon.com <laughs> slash great night and give them money. The second says, but there are up to five uh, bonus episodes exclusive only to that platform per month. What does the third say, Brian? Hark, who goes there? And the fourth? It's a subway. And the fifth says... If if you don't go there right now, we'll stop doing the show. <laughs> the six says, I mean, not really, but we really do have a lot of people that are employed <laughs> by the, the show. The seventh says, so, oh, no, but what about all these baby healers? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> because that's a bit that Justin introduced. What does the six say? Uh, well, the, sev- the eighth says, yeah. yep. Justin made up the bit about all the baby Hitlers, and the ninth said, yeah, it was kind of weird that the show started with a whole bit about baby Hitlers. Which one of them did that? And the tenth said, I forget. And the eleventh said, me too. And the twelfth said, it was Justin. But then the bonus track, the thirteenth said, but Brian told him to do it. No, And and that's the story of Patreon.com slash great night. Patreon.com Fuck me. Wow. Patreon.com slash great night. Go there right now. Bryce, we got a game. Uh, we do have a game. This was sent in by one of our uh, beautiful listeners. Uh, I, I want to say this is pronounced four C's, uh, uh, AKA Sean. Uh, this is a game that uh, Sean called Orifice Orifice. You can all uh, applaud. Honey, for Orifice. Uh, hey! Uh, no, I, mean, I, I think uh, that, that, that name was so lyrical. Uh, I think we were expecting a sounder or something uh, like that. <laughs> So uh, this is a, a, a orifice is don't dream it's orifice <laughs> orifice or <laughs> it was uh, Justin's idea <laughs> so I'm gonna to make the babies Hitlers <laughs> I was breeding them in the orifice for money the that's way worse please don't say you were breeding babies please no I was breeding Hitlers come on. Bonnie, you want to join us on this one? babies at some point. <laughs> okay. So this is a very simple game. Oh, promises, promises. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Nah, I'm too Don't slow. dream it's over. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Bryce? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a simple game. I'm going to give you an object, and you're going to tell me which orifice it was shoved into per the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission's 2018 database of emergency room visits and uh, the Deadspin article, quote, what did we get stuck in our rectum last year from Barry Pacheski? Uh, right, gentlemen. So gird your loins because uh, these are the orifices that you will be choosing from each round. You'll find them on your screen right behind you. We're looking for the ears, n- the ear, nose, throat, genitals, or rectum. Blah, 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 blah. Why doesn't the same doctor who does the first three do the last two? <laughs> the ENTGR. Hey, man, yeah. I'll do ears. I'll do noses. Hell, man, I'll even do throats. <laughs> do you think, but do you think like that somebody who's like the punk rock ear, nose, and throat doctor is like, yeah, I also do genitals and rectums. Boy, <laughs> hey, I do all of it. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, oh wait, hold on. Punk rock, ear, nose, and throat doctor. What's your Oy. name? What's your name? My name is <laughs> Eddie. Doctor Rectum. <laughs> Doctor Rectum. Oh my God, you're so punk rock because you're identifying the the the, the difference between you and ear, uh, uh, any other ear, nose, and throat doctor. Uh, I'm so glad that my insurance covered you. <laughs> I went to Princeton. Wow, wow. holy shit. I You're very prestigious. I'm in a strip mall. Why Why would you cover the two <laughs> forbidden holes? Because <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously everybody covers all the classy holes, right? Why would you cover the forbidden holes? Uh, I want to be Dr. <laughs> rectum. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm not, I'm not an improver. I'm a rectum <laughs> doctor. <laughs> And scene. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give you an object. You're going to have to tell me which of the five orifices it was in. Uh, penis and vagina are in here. They are both under genitals. Okay. Genitals. Okay. okay. All right. Um, and uh, I believe we do have a little bit of a punishment for whoever doesn't get the most points in this. Oh, game. dear. Uh, Brett, do you mind does does it involve, for me? Which of the five holes does it involve? <laughs> <laughs> the throat. <laughs> the throat. <laughs> Uh, it, it, do, do we announce what the uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, right now So there's steaks There are mm. nuclear sour balls Ooh. That you will get to try The loser Probably should have went over the specifics there Before we started the show should've, Really? It we should have done that but we sour. Didn't. It's right. very Wait. sour candy And someone's going to make a real sour face Nuclear so, sour balls uh, I mean, you put YouTube. it in your face. That's right. Yeah. Sure. Watchgreatnight.com. All right. So I'm going to give you an item. You're going to give me the orifice. We've got, we got enough here that you'll uh, uh, you'll each. Uh, uh, no, you both have to guess. Orifice, whoever's closest. Orifice. Hey. Now, now it's actually stuck in my Don't head. dream it's over. Yeah. That's right. So I'll give you each one. Um, if, uh, uh, if the first person can't get it, the second person can try to steal. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. Uh, the first object... Uh, is let me see here. Oh my goodness! One second here. Uh, the object is uh, uh here we go. The end of a comb. Uh, the end of a comb. Oh, that's a nose. That's a nose job all the way. You're gonna uh, say right, it. right. Uh, 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 talk about a deviant septum. <laughs> it, <laughs> deviant. <laughs> a de yeah. A deviant yeah. Septum. That's what I was going for. The deviant septum. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, Brian said, uh, what did you say one more time? Nose? Nose. That is... Loser. Incorrect. Justin, oh. for the chance to steal. Five seconds. G-Unit Genitals. <laughs> Loser. In the oh, Bonnie, you, you, uh, Bonnie, you want to get I a microphone? I was going to say, do you want in, but I yeah, guess yeah, does yeah, it yeah, want Do you want to play? You. Okay, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right. Bonnie Brushwood, hey, everybody, hey, let's get a round of applause. She tried to float off before. I Here, was not listening to the questions. So I have no right. opinion no, 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 so far. So they can see. <laughs> yep. So yeah. Shot uh, can you, can you restate the, yeah, no, that's, the that's question? What, it, I'm, 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 no, I'm no, moving. That's right. What? Uh, end of a comb. The end of a comb. Where do you think an end of a comb? Ah, which orifice? Behind her. Over. All right. Here we the go. The end Perfect. of a comb. Which? Uh, what? What orifice do you believe an end of a comb uh, was put into per a 2018 database of? I'll give you a hint. We already said genitals and nose. They already yeah. Said genitals I say and it's nose. the ear. They're like, you know, I got some wax in there. You're gonna, gonna say go the, with the ear. The ear. I'm gonna comb my ear. The end hair. of a comb. Yeah, the end. end of a comb. At the end <laughs> of the comb, where the comb disappears. It's one of those spiky combs that you do. It'll you're like, you're my like ear brain. And I'll go to the ER at the end of the comb. No, they might be Giants fans. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of them. All right, uh, uh, Bonnie, your answer of ear was. All right. Yeah. Why would they put the end of a comb in an ear? Because it, the, the, there's they're, they're the combs to that you braid, shit out of it. and they're like, oh, I just need to, and then, oh, my ears, and then they're in the doctor. <laughs> That's 
Exactly correct. <laughs> yep. That's, that's exactly correct. Uh, okay, moving on. Ah, there we go. My thing is working now. All right, uh, let's start. Thank you, Peter Man 1000 who <laughs> said he's listened to that song today. Oh, okay. Ah. Yeah, one person understands me. I mean, I did too, I'll give you an LOL on that one. Pretend huh? not to. <laughs> yeah, I had the class to shun you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Justin, we'll start with you on this one. Yeah. Uh, what orifice was a banana put into? <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, I guess... Probably all of them at some point, but 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 uh, wh where where did it get stuck? Where, yeah, wait, where someone went to the emergency stuck? room. For where did they go to the old ER and say, "Get it out of me, doc." Well, I mean, I, like, I, like, I, like, I got no like other a rectum, ways to it's look like, at. It's uh, like, uh, uh, what do programmers say? Banana in, banana out. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that's designed to repel a banana. Right, yeah. Right? Well, it's designed both to accept and repel repeatedly a banana. Yeah. Are you're... Mm -mm. Are y'all collaborating on this banana? There's, no. Bananas. There's a softness concern I, mean, I there's have a about bit that. <laughs> yeah. Philosophy. What if the banana's frozen? Exactly. Well, then we're playing a whole different ball game, and I'm okay. not, but I'm not going to be part right. of that. All right. All right. Uh, Justin, we're looking for a banana. What orifice was a banana stuck in? I'm there? going to say that the banana was stuck in the nose. Your answer of nose is. Fuck me. Incorrect. Uh, on the right track. Classic <laughs> kids move. Kids pretending to be on a phone call. Ring, ring. Who's there? <laughs> ah, mommy, it won't get out. Ah. Yeah. This bit. Ring, 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 ring. That's right. Banana phone. <laughs> do, 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 do. I have to go to the ER and get a removed banana phone. <laughs> <laughs> they might be giants, man. They're great. <laughs> not, I think that was that's not, Yeah, I was yeah. Like, that's not TMB. Yeah, it's crazy fraud. All right. Your answer is. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Your answer is. Incorrect, uh, Bonnie. You want to take a check, uh, uh, take a test on it. It's a uh, banana. What I'm going to say the throat because that's very. That's like the most common place to choke or thing to choke. Like if but, you but raise children, no, then they choke on the banana. But that that that's the only thing that I, I went against that because I'd assume she should have told that, you before that, that, you raised falling those under something other than just like. Oh uh, no. Uh, you ever it, see a toddler deep throat a banana? I, it happens. <laughs> it is weird me. and not okay. Trust me. My, my, my point was not that it didn't happen. My point was that it happens so often that it's its own category. That it falls under choking and not lodged things. It, it, it was a slow hmm. news day. So. But, we'll okay. See. Yeah. Yeah. We'll All see. Right, we'll All see. Right. So her answer was throat. The answer we were looking for was... Throw! Yeah! Yeah! God damn it. Eight That's fucking fingers that the mom because is like basically... dominating this game. But Bonnie's the Michael <laughs> Jordan of where did shit get stuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, OG deep throat. <laughs> this is true. So now let's think about the banana though. Let's peel this apart. Uh, oh. Everything nope, else nope, is no, 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 Next, no, next, no, no. next, next. Uh, next one. Bonnie, we're going to start with you on this one. Yes. Uh, this was a, uh, this was in quotation marks because it was not just an object it was kind of a specific description here uh mm -hmm. can you tell me which orifice uh this was put into uh a person went to the er for putting bleach on a q-tip to clean the body part and ending up with a chemical burn oh that is definitely a genitalia you're gonna say yeah. a genitalia and they should have gone to the doctor before someone they ain't never seen x hamster <laughs> <laughs> your answer is Incorrect. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah. All right, that we're going to go to Brian on this one. Oh, shoot. Putting uh, bleach ah, on it. Man, a... I don't know. Uh, what were the options again? Uh, uh, the, Brian, that'd be ear. Yeah, I don't know why you put no. bleach in your ear or your nose. Throat. Throat. That would be untasty. Why Genitals would you bleach has your already throat? been knocked out. Yeah. Which would leave rectum. You know what? I've never heard of such a practice. Of, 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 of a bleached asshole. But if I did, <laughs> it yeah. would go a little something yeah. like... <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> bleached asshole. Wrecked him. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. Justin for the steal. Five seconds. Putting bleach on a Q-tip to clean the body part. A chemical burn. I'm going to say that that is... The ear. 
Yeah. I, I would say go go with the thing that a Q-tip is universally thought to go into. Yeah. Your answer is correct. Yeah. That's all there is to it. According to this story, after listening to a previous podcast called Night Attack, <laughs> they decided they needed to bleach their ears. Oh, oh, that's so ear bad. Uh, they were breeding what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I have to bleach my ears. That's the 90s. You can't say that. Can't Only say 90 that. kids remember. Only 90s kids remember Darkwing Duck and Brett, what's our Hitler? score? Our score. We uh Brian has no points. Mm. Justin mm. has one point. Wow. Bonnie got two points. Oh, Bonnie's got two points. Uh, Peace. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Peace. Uh, by the way, no belt because I clearly contextualized it as a previous incarnation of the show. That's right. Yep. Um, okay, we'll go to this next one here. I believe we're going to start with Brian on this one. Ready? Like we're starting on you here. Um, oh my God. This person squirted mixture of bleach and water onto part wanting to prevent AIDS. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is from the US. <laughs> orifice. <laughs> orifice. Uh. Don't dream it's over. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 got to be genitals. Uh, give it the big G. Your answer, genitals, is ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. No, still think it's true. <laughs> oh, oh, you fool, you fool, Justin. This one's you. Rectum ready to rumble. That's right, it's Recta. All right, all right, Jackie Chan. Take it back to the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> you rumble it's, there. It's two for two. Two, two, two Yeah, zero. you're both number two. We get it. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. All right, we're going to go to Justin on this one. Yeah. Justin, tell me which orifice the six to seven BB pellets was in, inserted. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. I like the ambiguity of it. Six to seven. So does that mean that like one of them have to dissolve by <laughs> yeah. the time they got there? I think they could. Maybe they couldn't find they it. Never There's a surprising it. amount of numerical uncertainty in some so of these wait, So like the parent was like, oh, for sure, seven BB pellets went up there. And then well, they're it, like, it, it, this tells me you got some loosey goosey nurses around, and you're like, you're like, click, and you're click, and it's like, uh, all right, how many was that? They're like, Bruh. did somebody knock no, the no, track? No, 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 yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I hear is it's click, 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 click. <laughs> like, uh, uh, <laughs> well, I could imagine one scenario to eject them all. There. And what would mm -hmm. that be? You jerk them off. <laughs> I've, ne I, I've never wanted for Corey to like like sixty zoom it. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait for it. Let's try it again. Can right, we? Yeah, can we get? Can right, we get the ejaculate right, them off again? again? <laughs> you jerk them off. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a GIF and please tweet it to me. <laughs> six uh, to seven BB six pellets. Six to seven. Uh, uh, I believe that is up the nose. Your answer. Ooh, nose. It, it is, is a kid thing. Oh, you bastard. Damn it. Loser. Incorrect. Oh. Incorrect. We're going to go to Bonnie on this one. Bonnie, six to seven BB. Oh. Give me a G. I am. I gotta say the genitals. I, I do believe it. Wow. wow. I do think that. Just, just, just a little mule train right up the urethra, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately. You could also be smuggling them. Like if, if you're an anteater, you, know, you, you took them around and. It's for an later. Anteater? No, but they're not getting stuck like that. Yeah, they're not getting stuck. I don't I mean, know. I, I, I you don't can know. be your own machine gun later. You freak out your mom, and then suddenly you're at the ER. You keep saying, <laughs> hey, you mom, do it. Hey, mom, you got five to ten minutes. I want to show you something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like I, I think Brian's got a point. Like he's just, Somebody is like going, maybe not even thinking about jerking them off, except like peeing them out. Like, wouldn't that be hilarious? Yep. I don't know. I mean, actually, that would be pretty funny. 
In yeah. fact, this might be recorded on the yeah, episode say, of yeah. Jackass or something. Yeah. Y'all got know. any pellets around or anything? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure we, we need. Do, I don't know. So that that, that uh, YouTube uh, shit we did did pretty well. Maybe we should up the ante. Like, <laughs> oh, we can start with airsoft. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on, wait. Let me call my wife real quick. <laughs> Uh, I think, Bonnie, it was your turn, right? What did you, one more time. Uh, genitalia. I'm going to say genitalia. Genitalia. You said genitalia. The answer we were looking for was penis. Yay! 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 Point for Bonnie. Congratulations, Bonnie. Thank you. I've never been prouder <laughs> in my life. Bonnie is celebrating <laughs> To win penis. a point talking about. Uh, Six to seven BB pellets up a dick hole. Yeah. Yes. I think mm-hmm. it's called sounding. No, that's a rod. Like, like, like that, oh that, that, that's a, that, that, that is a solid uh, rod. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody could afford a rod. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us had to grab the BBs when so nobody's you're, 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 oh. <laughs> Someone. That's right. You're, that's you're, right. You Why are, don't you just say it? You are, just you're, say it. You're the Huck Finn of sounding. <laughs> and I'm the Tom Sawyer. <laughs> yes. A Cuck Finn and Don ah. Sawyer, please. Ah. Want you to know. Cuck Finn and Don Sawyer. I saw that exit. I did not take it. I did, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 there you we go. Is that homophobic? Uh, it's uh, my new Jeff Foxworthy catchphrase. <laughs> oh, is that? Ooh, now uh, is that homophobic? <laughs> what is our score? We, 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 yes, do we have a score, Brett? I think we. I think we have a score. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Finn and Dom Bonnie, Sawyer. Yeah. Bonnie's got a big old three, right? Mm. Uh, yes. Justin's got a. All right, looking too. Nice. Mm. And uh, Brian, he got nothing. Mm. You got nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got a goose egg. Well, mm-hmm. and, that's right. And where's that going to get stuck? In my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie, Sounder. Anyway. <laughs> up, up my butt? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got another round for you here. Bonnie, we're going to start with you on this one. Oh, okay. In what orifice was a small transistor radio inserted? Radio, radio. Oh. Um, it's Elvis Costello. I'm on a Mexican radio. Literally. <laughs> we don't I'm need to bring race into this. Orifice, <laughs> wouldn't you know? Oh, no, it's a white guy singing it, so it's okay. I got the music inside me. Anyway. <laughs> How small can radios get? That's what I'm curious. I'm just wondering how big the genitals can get. Yeah. Oh, I know. Or the ears or the throat. Someone's got to swallow one of these motherfuckers because like it has all been non-swallowing things. I'm up until going now. to say, I'm gonna say somebody was trying to practice the rhythm method and it got stuck in the genitalia. <laughs> wow. Uh sweetheart, do you know what the rhythm method is? <laughs> Know They're making a- sure to pull out early. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't let's, think let's, you know what the let's rhythm method. <laughs> yeah, what is what is the rhythm method? The ri- it's the rhythm of the <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. It's, it's the, the rhythm, rhythm of, of the, the night. night. All right, uh, and what is the rhythm method? Uh, it's when a organization, a church organization, says. <laughs> <laughs> no. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Let her go, let her go. <laughs> no, um, no hanky pinky uh, without having the baby, and then <laughs> and then you practice around the uh, the ebb and flow of the woman's cycle, and then it's um, the rhythm method. Can I ask you again? 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 Yeah, can I ask you this question? Yes. What the fuck does that have to do with the radio? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't fun. know the traffic and weather together, how are you going to know what date it is, motherfucker? Yeah. Come on. Oh, there we go. There. I'm saying you got like, no ride. Uh, you know, I mean, something like, they're just. <laughs> So genitals, the rhythm method. genitals. <laughs> so, so genitals. the genitals. rhythm method is midway through coitus, you start playing low rider, and the dude gets soft, <laughs> <laughs> and you, there's no chance of I don't pregnancy. Know. Maybe you're trying to encourage <laughs> the rhythm so that everything's yeah. happening in sync. The rhythm of the night. Of the night. Yeah, yeah, like the rhythm of the night. So basically, yeah. it was a pun. It was a joke. It was intentional. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, and 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 now we're here. Uh, best of both worlds. <laughs> Everybody won. Everybody won. 
What orifice did a radio <laughs> Genitals. He said genitals. Oh, she said genitals. Genitals is. Oh. Yeah. All right, Brian, we'll go to you. Uh, that's a uh, throat, Bob. All right, your answer of throat is. Corey! Yeah! God damn it. I gave away the fucking answer. He's on away. the board. He's on the board. That's right. All right. Well, Number do... one with the bullet. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. All right. Pop, uh... pop, sauce. <laughs> or seven to eight of them in my dick hole. Justin, we're going to go to you now. <laughs> yeah. I would like you to tell me about a significant amount of string. Oh, mm. Jesus Christ. Mm. And that is uh, the actual, what it says is a significant amount of string. Mm. It's a lot of string, huh? It's a significant amount, I'm told. Yeah. I, like, so, so you think when they pulled it out of whatever orifice, it looked like a magic trick? <laughs> 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 like there's no possible way that this it, amount of string. Going. Is this gimmick? This wow. is good. Oh this is God. a good quality <laughs> rope. Oh, shit. It has a little flag Just, on just it. Uh, describe to us the soundscape. Did it sound like. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, Justin, significant amount of string. I hope it was different colors. <laughs> like as it went on, like, like so you knew how much string was being pulled out. So otherwise, the blur of the human eye would make it look less. Impressive. I just want to know if there was a partner whose entire job was to stand there and look amazed and look at the audience and then look back again at the string and think about like. And then just like, I don't know. Do, do, do you think they teach that in nursing school? Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Please they're like, look amazed. <laughs> they're like, look, when you got a good latch, this is what it's like. <laughs> and they set up like a they pivot silly string. <laughs> and it just shoots out. <laughs> La leche league. All right. Uh, <sighs> Justin, a significant amount of string. What orifice? I think that that was in in the butt, Bob. Mm. Mm. He's going to say mm. in the butt. Justin, we were looking for the butt. Hey! Hey! Not homophobic. Hey! Not homophobic. Hey! The funniest place for that to come out, right? Yeah. Can we all agree? Uh, What's funnier? The nose. Than a, a significant amount of strain to come out of the butt. The nose. Funnier than the butt. Yeah. Get I mean, out of here. Get out. Get out of here. I think it's. I think hey, it's you nose. buddy. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> we're, we're trying to laugh. We're trying to have a good time. Get out of here, copper. We we have we have a lot of string coming out of this person's butt. We're all trying to uh, have a good time. Hey, we work an honest wage. We have a good time afterward. And this man has a bunch of string coming out of his butt. That's all entertainment. Ah. It's me, the new club owner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 1920s club owner, and I got a specific brand of entertainment. And I ain't ashamed to say that I promote it. I, <laughs> his name is Doug, and he's got string pulled out of his butt three times a night. <laughs> you can pay a penny for the Nickelodeon, or you can come on in here and have a soda while you watch a man's string get pulled out of his butt. It's, it's and it like, only takes 20 minutes to reload, I tell you. It's an amazing <laughs> thing to watch. He's a real professional. The way they used to make him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, if, if you two motherfuckers are going to pitch a no-hitter, then I'm just going to sit here and watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got one last uh, one last round. Brett, what are the scores? Uh, the scores, four, 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 four. as I understand them right now, is mm. uh, Brian has still one point. Yep, I'm number one. Bonnie has three points. Mm. Justin has three points. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. There we yeah. go. All right, it's our final round. This is for five points. Five points. And uh, uh, who's who's in last place? That would me. be Brian. Uh, Brian. Brian, we're gonna start with you. Brian, I would like you to tell. Oh, me. We're not doing golf rules. <laughs> <laughs> you get the guess. <laughs> All right. Brian, I would like you to tell me about when someone inserted a crayon in body part. Can't remember if it came out. <laughs> I believe crayon. not only do I knew know this one, but it was the plot device of a Simpsons episode in which Homer Simpson was shoving a crayon up his nose, and the farther it went, the dumber he got, finally reaching the status of saying, extended warranty, how could I lose? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say nose. 
Your answer of no's is... Oh. Incorrect. We move Simpsons on. Simpsons didn't do it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, we're going to you. Oh, sorry. I think that that, if you listen closely, uh -huh. is the ear. Wait, sorry. How would you not know? It's, it's this... This far, and you would know if it... Okay. Well, no, no, no. They said they didn't retrieve it. They, they don't know if they... Inserted a crayon in body part. Can't remember, remember if, if it, it came, came out. out. So they might have stuffed it in there and then gone to sleep. And then... That for, classic thing that we're all yeah. doing. But Always. We that like, I mean, like, I, like, we don't we, know. We, 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 we're living in a world where people don't know they're pregnant. Like, 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 so, like, like it is conceivable that somebody is so close <laughs> well, to in their ear. Conceivable. Ah, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> so we're talking. It could be a stubby crayon. Maybe ear. Like m the mom. Wait, comes lock it in. It's his turn. Oh. That's Justin's turn. All right, Justin's answer of ear is loser. Incorrect. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Bonnie. Bonnie. For eight points and the entire game. Crayons go in. It's they down don't to go you. out. Inserted a crayon in body part. Can't remember hey, if hey, it And hey, by out. the way, if you don't get it, Brian gets another shot. Oh. That's, oh. That's, that is true. Oh. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he said casually rewriting the rules of the game. <laughs> Try to do some math here. I think Forcing I think we won't like that. Yes and it. <laughs> yep. Okay. So on the one hand, you could say you've got the butt. <laughs> on the you one can. hand, and you do have the butt. Out. Actually, uh, yeah, no, I think that's maybe a good it'll point. come out, or maybe, maybe it will. doesn't. You wouldn't be as worried about it, maybe, because things come out. Mm. Yeah. But what about the vagina? Because, like, maybe the Genital. vagina. It yeah, actually, it's actually still uh, 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 if you have the dexterity, you can probably get him with the same hand. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> can, can, some, some, somebody asked me, and I've never had the courage to ask Bonnie this until just now. <laughs> He said, looking at me for audio <laughs> listeners. I won't, I won't look. I'm not going to turn around. Brian fully turning away from his <laughs> wife I, I on stage and looking ask. at me. You yes, go ahead. Ask. I think, you're, I think you're, uh, your instincts to not ask is probably good. <laughs> oh, it stinks, all right. <laughs> I was told <laughs> that if things were clogged up, Taking a number two, yeah. Maybe uh, 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 ladies have an option that boys don't have, which is to uh, reach up and and just sort of just sort of give a little, uh, <laughs> give a little give bit. A, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. There, uh, yeah. there, it, is. Yeah. Then, uh, there it is. Uh huh. <laughs> is she nodding? <laughs> <laughs> no, she was not listening at doing? all. You want to know what she's doing? No. Nope. She's actually, I really don't. she put both of her hands <laughs> above her head and waved them like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> My favorite for me. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Like, I'm a journalist. I'm going to report what I saw. All right. Bryce, yeah. was, was she right? Uh, her answer was... Uh, uh, what was her that answer? Is, uh, that? Yeah, that's the thing. I was weighing two options. I'm going to say genitalia. She's going to say genitalia. This is for five points. And this could decide the entire game. The entire game! The entire game. The you entire fucking you game! Wouldn't, you wouldn't she know. shoved it up her... Oh, my God. <laughs> or his, or his. Or Don't his. Be, unlikely. Be... Unlikely you would forget it came out of a penis or not, right? Hey, True point. There's Maybe. many things we forget. Very valid. It's coming up on Pride Month. <laughs> 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 All right, Bonnie, your answer of genitalia is... That's all there is to it. Uh, I, guess, I guess that means uh, the punishment is yours. Which is? Uh, the royal yours? Let's find out. Well, oh, I'm not having to shove something wait, wait. Oh, up. No, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. So, so Bonnie, what? you won. Yep. Bonnie yep. got eight points. Yep. That is uh, uh, Bryce, how, how many points did I have? Okay. I believe you had three, three points. points. Yeah. Uh, uh, our uh, our uh, uh, Brian, you had how many points? One. Well, the important thing is before Bonnie showed up, we all agreed that the winner would receive the punishment. It was mm. opposite day. Oh, this is mm. not. Uh, no. We oh, already oh, have no. someone in Bradley. Oh, no, honey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. 
Right, oh right, no! Punishment. Right, 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 right. uh, 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 here we go. This is. Oh, it's in a canister. What is this? It literally this is, it, says toxic waste. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. How many orifices were there? There were five. Five. Okay. Wait, you have to put that in your. In, in his butt hole. That we know yeah. of. Uh, uh, oh. Oh wow! Oh. This is this is more than the, a, a, an atomic warhead. Yeah. Corey, can you can, can you push what in on that? Can this? Did, did you say two of the yellow ones? Well, did you just, Why would I do two of the... Okay. Yeah. Wait, so two. Yep. Two, two. Two is the, the prescription here. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so Brian, Brian is opening them. And this, by the way, um, is for the record. Toxic waste, ha a hazardously sour candy. Hazardously sour. From mm -hmm. Candy Dynamics in Indianapolis. Okay. Uh... uh Hey, uh, just because, uh, in, in case you're counting, it's 10 calories per serving. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, um, full Toxie Head, 60 seconds. Uh, oh, wait, so hold on. So they are saying here that if you're a wuss, you'll keep it in for 15 seconds. Yep. If you're a crybaby, you'll mm. keep it in for 30. Okay. If you are a This is toxie, what I said on our wedding night. If you are a Toxie <laughs> wannabe... <laughs> You'll keep it in for 45, and if you're a full toxi head, you will keep those in your mouth for 60 seconds. Uh, 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 hold on. Go ahead and get the get uh, timer going. Hey, Bryce, uh, so uh, we... Will you please call up uh, the karaoke song of your choosing? <laughs> of my choosing? Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Is there some okay. kind of apocalyptic song? That... An apocalyptic song? Yeah, this is Toxic Waste. Uh, uh, yeah. Talk. Yeah. Absolutely, I'm sure. Okay. All, right. All, right. All right, all right. Are you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. we're started. Oh my god. Oh. No. Okay. No. I know. <laughs> all right. What's that? <clears throat> right. So, uh... oh god. <laughs> oh, this is. Just hold out. My mouth is Are you not going to show me the lyrics? Like, yes. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, no. like, I'm like, like right, right. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Oh. The color's showing up to his face. Yeah. It's, getting little, it's oh, getting a little rosy. It's oh, getting a little rosy. Yeah. A little rosy. Brian, uh, describe your feelings. Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it sour or sweet? Oh, It's strong. Like boom. You're yeah. so masculine. Alright, here we go. Look at you. Here we go. Turn it uh, up. Oh, 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 he wants to start singing. He wants to sing through it. He works in the grocery store, saving pennies for some day. <laughs> Mama Leon <laughs> left her sour ball, and she said, Sonny, move out of my way. <laughs> Working hard can give you a heart attack. You ought to know by now. <laughs> Who needs a house out in Hackensack? This is pretty good now that I think about it. It's yeah. well over a minute. At this and point. it seems like a waste of time. But y'all is pussing out. <laughs> Cause I'm eating toxic waste. Now get out. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Brushwood. Oh, I got it. I got it. Boom! Over, over 60 up. seconds. A full, yeah. Yeah. a full toxie head. A full toxie head. Although, by the way, you could tell how much it affected you by the fact that you didn't know the rhythm of moving out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. like, like, for as many if times I'm as we fucking sang Billy Joel fucking parodies, I know you know the fucking <laughs> rhythm of moving out. We just but needed... not when that was uh, diseasing your brain. So there's a we thing that happens when transistor. your heartbeat changes. <laughs> <laughs> And it's difficult to tell the rhythm of things. <laughs> Which oh. is why you need a transistor radio. <laughs> Up your butt. <laughs> Up your Oh, no, that was down the throat. Mm. That was oh, down, down the throat. throat. It was down the throat. That one was down yeah. the throat. Now uh, we know uh, why it was down the throat. Look it up in the Bible. Uh, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Leviticus, have, baby. Do we have any uh, emails? Uh, we did get an email. In fact, hey. Let's, hey. let's uh, open up the I don't know. club for the first time in a while. Email? Join us for drinks in the female Diamond Club. Email. Yeah. Diamond Club. That sounds grand. Super grand. This is an email from our friend Dr. Uncle Mal, who uh, sent in a game in the past. Uh, 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 the subject line was a, su a suggestion for terminology. Mm. Oh. Dr. Uncle Mal writes, Dear Great Knight, 
A pop song recently reminded me of the many times during Great Night that Justin has discussed his tendency to tip generously when buying drinks. In particular, during the pandemic, when buying beers during his walks. Yep. Although recent data uh, regarding the size of his tip when buying coffee shows greater variance. I recall Justin asked... <laughs> Wow, that was a very weird left-hand turn. He was like, but also he's an asshole. Anyway, the question is... Yes, so I recall Justin asking for suggestions on what to call this act, but if memory serves, no conclusion was reached on the matter. My recent encounter with the aforementioned and shortly to be named pop song revealed to my mind what is the obvious answer. Okay. I therefore propose that the term for the above-mentioned behavior should simply be a big man on Mulberry Street. I hope you agree. Sincerely, Dr. Uncle Mao. Uh, I mean, you're familiar with this, right? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> yeah. Bonnie, I love you know, it. You, well, I mean, you might not know it, but the kids know it. Oh, certainly. Does everybody yeah. ever yeah. here in, in the crowd, do we, do we know Big Man on Mulberry Street? <laughs> we're, right? we're getting, yeah. we're getting oh, I'm a enthusiastic guess. Uh, uh, yeah, we've got well, everybody knows. Yeah, everybody knows. <laughs> yeah. Right, Corey. Right. Who I'll, I'll, know I'll, I'll tell you what. Yeah. How about all yeah, it was, by, by the way, by the way, a bit like this. <laughs> by the way, by the way, there was a comedy shot of me saying, everyone <laughs> saying <laughs> yes, while they were all saying no. But Corey was too busy hiding <laughs> <laughs> because he didn't want to say yes or no that he couldn't even turn the camera for it. <laughs> Don't worry, we had one person shaking yeah. their head and one person looking at their phone so uh, uh <laughs> bryce uh, uh no 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 bullshit do you know what the fuck this song is i looked it up just can we now. hear can we hear a touch of it oh acapella yes, you don't need to play it for us that'd well, be I a mean, copyright I, I, violation I, 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 had you ever heard it i did not hear of it but seeing who it's from i'm surprised you all hadn't heard of okay us. all right oh, oh is, uh, it, is it billy joe no it's paul mccartney Ladies and gentlemen, this is Billy Joel's Big Man on Mulberry Street. Yeah. Sing along. From his album, The Bridge. Here we go. Uh, Walking. Why can't I let you <laughs> Cut it. That's the best. It's not going to get any better, get any better than that. It can't get any better than that. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you got it one word, dude. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> How the fuck? Walk in. <laughs> this is the part where we go back and find out that literally every Billy Joel song starts with the word walk in. Yeah. <laughs> walk into the bar on a Saturday. I think, I think he said, why can't? <laughs> but it he said, perfect. but it's too good. good. Walk no, don't take this away uh, from me. Anyway, I believe in uh, miracles. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, sure. The, the, the big man on Mulberry Street is now the <laughs> official name of over tipping bartenders, which uh, uh, oh. I always do. And by the way, that's why I don't do that shit for coffee people because. Coffee people were never made illegal during the lockdown in the way that sitting in a bar was, but having takeout beer was allowed, so that's why I always over tipped. I don't know. We live in Texas. Everybody just kept doing their thing. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, I'm going to leave that controversial statement to blow <laughs> in the ether as I state that I very much enjoyed tipping bartenders whose bars were closed. Yes. Gotcha. Bryce? Bryce! <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> okay, we've... Uh, <laughs> Do we have another email? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring us into your head. Bring us into your head. What was going on there? What was going on? I think he was mad about the, the whole thing about baristas. I think that's what it was. No. no listen. What, 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 happened, what happened was I was looking at the clock and I thought, oh, my gosh, maybe they're, they're trying I to wrap I should have swallowed that radio. I <laughs> should have swallowed that small transistor radio. Because <laughs> he, he was about to open his mouth while, he, it, it, while his esophagus had <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I turned it to the classic rock station and he was just going to open his mouth and go walking <laughs> <laughs> um, in fact here we've got a, a high thought from uh, from one of our friends would you like awesome. to hear a little bit oh, of yeah. high thought it's been a while get it fucking going by the way happy birthday Tommy Chung 
Oh shit! Uh, uh, also, shouts out to Tez. Oh, oh yes, oh, shit! Yeah. God damn it! Yeah, the, the, who's the, better? Me. The, I'm better. I won. I won. To, it has nothing to do with weed, but but uh, uh, yeah. Mm. Let, let, let's actually mm. take a moment. No, mm. no, no, no. no. Calm, calm down the high thoughts, music. Uh, uh, for real, uh, uh, Tez, who has been a, a a huge part of the show, along with uh, her partner Ev Lloyd, they had the beautiful child Blurch. Uh, oh my god she just had surgery that she's been waiting for for years because of the vid of, of the vid it kept pushing it back uh very delicate brain surgery she didn't she even had, have chemotherapy no she she had it and it is successful we we send all of our love to hey. tez and, tez! and tez! Uh, yes! uh, please uh, uh, uh everybody big love to them uh, down in Australia, uh, again, a gigantic part of our extended family. So uh, uh, we love you. Hell yeah. 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 All right. Let's there bring it. Let's bring it down a bit. Earnestness. <laughs> and now let's get back to fucking around. <laughs> we got a high thought for you. Oh, wait. Where's my button? Oh. <laughs> the high thought is, where are my, my buttons? buttons? Here's the high thought for you. Consider this. The brain is the only thing to name itself. Mm. Nah. Wait, what do you no, that's a great high thought. Nah. Uh, what else name the rest of the body part? My butt calls itself. <laughs> 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 I just disagree. <laughs> we agree to disagree. <laughs> I but say no. He says <laughs> But you wanna know what? <laughs> that's your brain naming that too. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think of that, bro? You ever think of that shit? I got shit for, for real. brains. Is that right? Hey! Whoa. Whoa. Who thought of the idea shit for brains? <gasps> your brain, dog. Oh. Back. This is your brain on shit. Dude. Brain on yeah. Shit. Yep. Yep. There we go. I got an Great I, high thought. Great high thought. Great high thought. Thank oh. you. Oh. Yes. Right, we got I one just last remember one. we were doing a show. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we got one last one here. Uh, this one is just says hi. Uh, says, sorry, Brian and Justin said, please message in, quote, we are trying to get an email thing going. I own a dinosaur named Tony. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, Bonnie, if you were going to name a dinosaur, what would you name it? I would name my dinosaur Bartholomew. 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 So the, the, full, the full name, not Bar for short. No. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Yes. What, 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 what kind, kind of, of dino? dinosaur? Yeah. Well, I like the stegosauruses. Because them plates? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're like dicks all up and down that back. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know for sure. You can almost see the we force don't... field of <laughs> around that We joke. don't know for sure if there were dicks up and down that back. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. Yep. That is a fact. Yeah. That is a fact. Yep. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, helpful. Brian, if you're going to name a dinosaur, what would you name it? Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because it has pussies all up and down its back? Yeah. No, no, we don't just, know. Uh, yeah. you know. Doesn't even need a pussy. I don't care. <laughs> no, because it'd be something else he only read about until 18. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, that's our hot thoughts. 21? So. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please send in your emails. Greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes. We put it there every single time. Thank you. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Oh, nothing. Just my wife outed me of losing my virginity to her at the age of 21. <laughs> I'll have oh. you know that was the same weekend that Command and Conquer came out. <laughs> it was a great weekend. Choices were made. I'm welcome. I'm yeah. welcome. <laughs> 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 Wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up. What did we learn? What, what did we learn? learn? Well, <laughs> what? Sorry. What are many other things we, we learned? learned. <laughs> Aside That's from exactly, just exact, the fucking exact weekend that Brian lost his virginity yeah. to Bonnie. <laughs> Gonna do some math after this. Oh. Uh, I mean, at first I did the oh, install. It was great. Then I plugged in. Oh, you did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> a few things we've learned. All right. uh, 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 nobody just put the date that that, that, that came out uh, in the chat right now. Please, whatever you do, don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> don't put the exact don't, date. Nor should you put it for the after show either. You should yeah. not do that. Mm. Uh, we've learned that Joy is the best prop comic. Facts. Uh, we've learned. Well, we got to. I mean, how do I question. climb out of this? Just keep going. We okay. Gotta ask the question: Should we really open with a baby Hitler joke? <laughs> No, uh, we should. I learned that uh, well, actually I never thought Bonnie was a, a dick joke teller. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've learned that Justin is the best Billy Joel impersonator. <laughs> Predator natural. <laughs> He's in his head through his nose. That's right. He uh, thought it was up there. Still a great night, I guess. Always a great night. <laughs> Shine on. You crazy diamonds. I love all of you, give or take. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>